Hi everyone and here's a quick video has been requested from a friend. He's asked me to show him how to take this guy from this picture and put him into this picture. Now the reason he asked is because the guy wasn't there when he did this shot and he just wants to know how to do it. Now I will say there's a thousand ways to do this and probably a better way than I'm going to do it now but this is probably the the easiest way and fastest way basically all i'm going to do is drag a little bit of him across and add a mask and paint him away or paint him back through which makes it very easy to understand not necessarily the best way to go though so first things first we'll go to the picture and we'll grab a selection and i, I know that i'm only going to use head and shoulders and i will go to edit copy and then go to the image and go to edit paste it's just moaning about the colour space. And now we've got the picture in. And I mean, to be fair, it's near enough done now. If we press Command T on a Mac, Control T on a PC, we can shrink him down and you must hold your shift. If you do not hold shift and you do it, you'll be able to squash him and make him look stupid. So you need to hold the shift key in to keep the aspect ratio. So let's just put him somewhere here and let's have a look. If he's, he looks a bit small there with his head. Let's just have a look. Now you're not going to be 100% see this. So what we're going to do is we're going to press return to accept or enter to accept the um, command. Now if we add a mask icon, which is down here in the bottom right, the layer mask icon. If we press the D key, we can reset our colours on our brush back to black and white. Um, and now basically if we press the X key and flip the brush around, as you can see here, we'll now paint in black. Press the B key. And we can paint in black and we can paint what we don't want. So we can just paint that away. And you can do the same in reverse. If you make a mistake, you flip to the white brush and paint in back. But just for a, oops, for a quick and cheesy thing, I'm just going to quickly... I'm really going to rush this. And then I'll show you the finished product, what I did for the um, custom, well, for the customer, for a friend. And then what you would do is you'd zoom right in um, to 200, even 400 percent. And let's go take a look and see if it looks like he's in the correct position. And the position is perfect, but you can see when you zoom in that the um, oops, sorry, we need to paint him away a bit more. We'll just get this guy in here. Sometimes you want to paint him a little bit much. And let's just have a look at that. In a minute you can paint him back through, just back over here, there. But let's just check that he's in the right position. Make sure you paint him all away. And we'll just flip round here. Now this is really rushed, so anybody thinking, Jesus John, you could do it better than that. Yes, I know that, I'm not stupid. And I'm going to leave it at that, there's no need. That's for the, I'll show you the finished product in a minute. And if you look, um, by the way, if you turn that off and you're not happy, we can just make sure that we haven't missed anything like here, you see, you don't really want them in the shot. And um, that's a good way to check you haven't missed anything. And you can see, I mean, it's not perfect, isn't that? But you can see that that's one of the easiest ways just to do it. Um, oops. Let's go paint that away. And you'll see that we've done it. I mean, it's as easy as that. It wants zooming in to three or four hundred percent and it wants tweaking up. And, and that's basically it. I mean, that's how to, I mean, you don't, 
I mean, only because you know I did that. If you didn't know I did that and I printed that out 20 inches, my screen's 24 inches, 12 inches, 16 inches, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know I'd done that. Um, and I'm just going to quit that now. Now I've showed you how to do that, my friend. I will show you a more advanced way, which will give you a better result. But that's just dead easy for you to remember. That's the reason why I did that. And if we just go to our downloads now, and I'll show you the finished version, what I did. Here it is, taking a little bit more time. And we also put this guy in here. So I had to put two guys in for him for his final result. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you.